Oops. Oh, so I'm making sure it was bright enough. Hello, this is a reading for Libra. I forgot to close the window. Sorry, it's going to get super loud out there. I live on a very busy street. Okay. So, this is a reading for Libra. Welcome. I'm Moonshine. This is Moonshine's Tarot. Um, pretty dope message coming in today. So, I had to do it. I pulled the cards, and there were four animal cards that came down. So, what I did was, I don't have the book for Kim Cran's Unknown Wild. So, I went online, and uh, each wild card, okay, wild unknown card, is a card in the tarot deck. So I was like, interesting. So I wrote them down. And, uh, yeah, I wrote them down. And this leads into the message of the tarot, okay? So we've got the fire ants, which is the five of wands, okay? We have the elk, which is the emperor. We have the lizard, okay, which is the knight of cups. And then we have the unicorn which is the star. So the unicorn came out first. And so what I saw, uh, once I put it all together, was the unicorn came in and w made a wish. So you made a wish, okay? And then now what's happening is it seems like, I feel like this message is for a woman. And if it's not for a woman, then it's for somebody who wants an emperor, Okay, which is, you know, you could be gay or it's a woman who's an emperor. Okay, because women are emperors too. So I see this fight over the emperor and then this knight of cups comes. So it's almost like I think it's based off the wish. So you wished for an emperor, but now there's a fight to get that knight to come towards you. Okay, or you're fighting to get that emperor to come towards you. Okay, more like it. But you're using the the action of the night to get your emotions out there. So somehow this is somehow you're going to connect with something that you made a wish for. Okay? So now we're getting to the tarot. We've got the 7 of wands or the 7 of swords in reverse, okay? We've got temperance in reverse. We've got the 5 of swords in reverse. The Four of Pentacles, upright. The Son of Cups, in reverse. The Father of Cups, upright. And then the Eight of Cups, in reverse. So, what do I see here? This is pretty magical. So, um, apparently the universe is done hiding something from you, which is why the Seven of Swords is in reverse. Okay, it's always about that sword that that fox is hiding under its tail. There's some piece of information that you don't have okay so the world is now done hiding something from you because they say now you're balanced temperance in reverse okay there's no reason for you to work on your hot and cold hot and cold hot and cold okay it's dealt with it's in reverse I almost feel like that's not the right um way to put that but that's the message coming through so that's all I care about okay it's all I care about um, and then the five of swords in reverse, it's like you, um, I, I guess you've proven yourself, okay? Or you've proven yourself to somebody, okay? And you've cut, cut ties with something or you've cut something off, okay? And now everybody can walk away and you can walk away, whether or not you cut something into two and walked away or you just cut something off altogether and walked away, but you proved that now you can be the ultimate secret keeper. Okay, now whatever the world wants to reveal to you, okay, you're mature enough now to handle it. Okay, why I say mature enough is because we've got the four of pentacles. Okay, so you're, you know, you're, you're, you've learned how to work with your money. Okay, you've learned how to keep your money in the circle that it needs to be in. Ever flowing, never stopping right so it's like the flow goes in but the flow is coming out the flow you know like you the, the flow of money has now you've gotten your grasp on it okay so moving forward it's not the son in you that moves forward it's the father in you that moves forward which means it's the man in you that moves forward or the woman in you that moves forward you're now mature 
is what I got from the relation, what I got from um, reading the cards, right? Is that with the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's like something that is maybe it was hard to walk away from, but now you don't have to walk, you know, you don't have to walk away from it. You know, the things that were hard in the past to walk away from now aren't going to be difficult to walk away from, right? Especially when you know that everything's shattered, everything's broken, right? Why do you want to sit in energy that hurts you? You know, it's like walking on glass. Why would you want to walk on broken glass when you know that if you just walked a block down the other way, you would have smooth sailing, right? So this is all about how smart you've got, Libra, that you decided, okay, now and now is my ability. Or you made literally a wish to become an emperor and that you, you bring your knight of cups forward. And that Knight of Cups ignites you becoming something on your own. I feel like this is, um, I feel like this is more of a love connection. But if you don't love what you do, if you don't love yourself, if you don't take those steps to become part of something, then I don't really know what to say. I kind of, I kind of just lost myself on that thought. I don't really know why I even said that. So, um... Yeah, the reading's done. As soon as I stop channeling, it's just done. I can't talk anymore. So, anyways, I'm not sure how this plays out in your life, Libra, but I hope this helps. I definitely know that whatever it is you're walking towards, um, you're not going to be leaving. And whatever wish you made, the Knight of Cups is on its way. So, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you like uh, the channel, subscribe if you want. Thanks. See ya.